I have no trouble <coughs> boiling down what I think uh, I'm doing in politics. I mean, I can actually do the Republicans one better. I, I think I can boil it down to three words, uh, justice, equality, and peace. I think that pretty much covers tax policy, environmental policy, energy policy, foreign policy. That's, I have no trouble coming up with a coherent worldview based upon those three words. And I wonder why it seems to be so difficult for everybody else. And of course, we do have policies. I mean, um, in the last Congress, over 6,000 bills were introduced. Um, you know, my own personal favorites were, of course, my own. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Medicare You Can Buy Into Act, H.R. 4789, a four-page bill that says that anybody who wants to buy into Medicare can buy into Medicare at the cost of the, the, the coverage. And the cost turns out to be extremely modest. Even for people in their early 60s, it's no more than $400 uh, a month. You know, the reason why the, the insurance companies spend $2 million <coughs> by themselves, just the insurance companies spent $2 million running negative ads against me in the last election is because they really feared that bill. Um, they realized that, that they cannot compete um, in any effective way against the government, which is exactly the opposite of what the other side is always telling us. The government's incompetent, they can't get anything done, and yet somehow or other Medicare gets provided to people at a, at a very effective, low cost. Another one of my favorites is the Wars Making You Poor Act, H.R. Uh, 5353. I uh, introduced that bill to uh, point out that if you simply had the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan funded out of the base defense budget, which is by itself $547 billion, um, if you just had them funded out of that modest amount of money, <laughs> um, and you took the rest of the money they were spending on the wars, um, you could eliminate federal income taxes on everyone's first $35,000 of income and $70,000 for a married couple. Um, and in addition to that, you would cut the federal deficit by $14 billion. Mm -hmm. So many people in public life will whine and say, well, you know, you can't get anything done in Washington, D.C. That is not true. Um, you know, to give just a few examples, we introduced a mandatory mediation program against foreclosures in Orange County um, that cut foreclosures in my district in half. They went from 3,000 a month down to 1,500 a month when I was in Congress. And that was my program, that was my baby. And it was so successful that it was implemented all over Florida, in every county in Florida, by order of the Supreme Court. Um, a simple concept like requiring the banks to sit down with the homeowners in, in front of a neutral third party before they take your house away turns out to be that powerful. Um, I, we passed a bill that I think led to the banks uh, giving back the bailout money. Uh, the Pay for Performance Act uh, was my bill. Passed in nine days in the House and said that the banks couldn't take any of the bailout money and use it for bonuses. Suddenly that bailout money didn't seem to be so attractive to them anymore. Mm -hmm. So they ended up giving most of it back. I will tell you this. Uh, it's a lot easier to deliver for people and then to say, I did this for you, than to say, well, I just couldn't pull it together, sorry. Maybe better luck next time. You know, the, the, and, and th that's not a message that I ever want to have to give to people. And, and I'm sort of embarrassed to hear that from other Democrats. You know, it, there, next time is not good enough. You have to do it this time. I mean, I know what my policy views are. I'm pretty sure I, I can explain to you what my position is on anything that I'm likely to vote on, almost anything, really. But I, I, I can't tell you what the party's views are. What is, for instance, um, the Democratic Party's position on environmental policy? When's the last time you heard any Democrat <coughs> mention global warming? It's been two years now. Um, what's the party's position on how to put people back to work? The, uh, the president's bill, by his own reckoning, would only put a million people back to work. There are 24 million people in this country who can't find full-time work. What is our answer? What is our proposal? It's very, very hard to articulate what the democratic position is. So I, th I think that uh, what, what you all need to do to change that um, is to insist on engaging people who are candidates and our leaders um, on policy and get them to specifically say what they want to do if they win.